once again folks this is where you know back with another lesson and due to popular demand we got another crowded house lesson today uh, i posted up weather with you a few lessons back and uh, i've had loads of requests for other crowded house songs including this one it's only natural uh, two of my favorite songwriters neil and tim finn i think they write some sort of amazing songs including this one and uh, they were absolutely amazing at glastonbury recently so uh, thanks to everyone who's requested more there will be more on the way now if you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this, as always I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, so there will be a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. And the way that that works, you just sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month and you get access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past 12 months and there's some exclusive stuff there that isn't currently on YouTube as well. So uh, what are you waiting for? Go and sign up, as little as a couple of quid a month like I say. Uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. A further way that you could help me out if you are subscribed is hitting that little notification bell up somewhere down there. And also if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media, so I'm Wayne Arkansas on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok as you always say. I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, you're gonna want the capo on the third fret, okay? And while we're talking about capos, I'd like to thank G7th Capo Company for sending me this capo. Uh, now, I've had a G7th Capo for the past 10 years. It's never let me down. I sort of, uh, I wanted sort of a custom one, so I requested the gold one. I know it's very bling, but the cool thing about this, I don't know if you can see that because of the light, it's actually got my name inscribed on the top so it's sort of a personalized one so i think something like that would make the you know the ideal christmas or birthday present great great reliable capos of these like i say i've had one for the past 10 years it's never let me down so we uh, you know i highly recommend you go and check those out so i'll put a link to that in the description below if you want to go over and check that out okay so the chords for the intro which also run into the verse we're going to want a d chord and we're going to go to a g chord now i use the four finger g so it's going to go d G, D, G, D, G. So that runs into the verse. As will melt, water will boil. You can shake up this mortal coil. Okay, now we're going to go to a C. Now I can either use a C at night, which I use occasionally, but I think Neil Finn uses this C with a G bass in. So all you do is take a regular C chord. Move the third finger to the third fret on the low E string relative to the capo, the little pinky third fret on the A string. And then you're gonna to go to a G. So it's gonna go, it's bigger than us. You don't have to worry about it. Back to the D and the G. So that runs into the verse two. Ready or now, here comes a drop. You feel lucky when you know what you want. It's gonna come true. Okay, so then we go into the chorus. Now the two chords you want for the chorus are going to be a B minor and an F sharp minor. And that goes around twice. So we got It's only natural. I should want to be there with you. It's only natural. You should feel the same way too. So then we go back into the verse again with the B and the G. Okay, so all that repeats. We've got the verse and the chorus. Now, after the second chorus, we're going to go into this little middle eight part. But the chorus actually ends on an A chord just before we go into that bit. So I'm just going to sing the chorus through. So this is like the second chorus, and you'll see where it goes into that middle eight. So it's only natural. I should want to be there with you. It's only natural. You should feel the same way. And it goes to an A, and we go to a D. It's circumstantial, go to an F sharp, but it's written in the sky. G, you don't even have to try. And we go back into the verse chords again. Okay, so then there'll be another verse, another chorus, and it actually ends with that sort of, um, you know, that middle eight part again after the uh, third chorus. Okay, so the next middle eight is slightly different. It's going to go D to an F sharp to a G, and then the same again, D, F sharp to a G. And then we end on the outro, which is uh, just the D to the G chord again. It's circumstantial. There's something I was born to. It's only natural. There's something I was born to. So 
that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Now the strumming pattern I tend to use, but a lot of the chords are sort of half time, is a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. But if you can see how that works between the chords, we get a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So on the D, it's a down, down, up. On the G, down, up, down, up. We sort of split that uh, strumming pattern in half. So it's a, a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Thanks very much for watching, hope you all dug that and uh, thanks everyone who requested more Crowded House. It's actually made me dig the Woodface album out and I've got that on rotation again. You know, amazing, amazing band. And Neil and Tim Finn, uh, like I said in the intro, two of my favourite songwriters. So if you've got any other requests for any other Crowded House songs or anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar, a lot of you know the drill now. So the easiest way to put a request in is in the comments below, or if you want to find me a personal message over through those social media platforms, I suggest you at the start of the video, you're very welcome to, and I do always reply to messages. I just point out that I do get quite a lot, and I do have to sort of hemp at them a little bit. But don't let that put you off, please do keep your messages coming, because that's what keeps this channel going, and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I'll quickly mention it again, if you are subscribed, is hitting the little notification bell up somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up. The patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it, but the funding from that really helps me carry on doing these lessons. You know, the very time consuming, the the research, the filming, the editing, you know, it takes a long time. So it's just a, a way of you guys giving something back and it only has to be a couple of quid a month. But the great thing is you get access to all the chords, the lyrics and the strumming patterns that you can print off to sort of coincide with the lessons. And there's some exclusive stuff there if you're into your scales and riffs and things like that that aren't currently on YouTube. So uh, like I say, there's a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. Another way that you could help me out, I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays guitar, please point them in my direction. And whatever time of day it is you're watching, whether it's morning, day, night, thank you very much and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.